Hi there and welcome back. My name is Sir Chemist. Today on Let's Play The Darkest Dungeon we're gonna take a crew into the cove. This crew consists of a man-at-arms, the Abomination, as well as a Plague Doctor and a Jester. Uh, yeah, so where we're gonna go, we're gonna do this mission. We don't really need the trinket so we can sell it. We do want the crests, we do want the money and we do want to level up our Ab Abomination to level 3. Also for this mission, I have newly hired Curtis or whatever he's called. Uh, he uh, is new. He, I've hired him especially for this mission because I didn't really have any other uh, apprentice level characters who would go into a dungeon with the Abomination. So there you go. But anyway, I've given him a protection stone and a tough ring. This gives him 15% protection and additional hit points, which is going to be useful because he's going to be using his defender ability or Rampart or Crush or Retribution and none of the other abilities that he's got. Although Bolster could be good, but I think that is something that is mostly going to be done by our Jester. Jester has the Bell Ballot as well as a Quick Draw Charm. The idea is that on the first round of a battle, he's going to use the battle ballot increase everybody's speed and that is actually going to counter the speed debuff that he receives in the in the next round so hopefully this will allow us to always act first in a round he also once again uh, i've done i've done this a couple of episodes ago i've given him the solo ability in the finale and i'm gonna try those to um, allow him to jump forward jump backward and in order to make the debuffs that he may land uh, with the solo more effective, I have given him the debuff amulet as well. So hopefully he should land more debuffs than he otherwise would. Plague Doctor, I've given the Witch's File and the Blasphemous File. I've done that dozens of times before, so no need to go too much into that. The Abomination, I've given the Padlock of Transference and the Restraining Padlock. The Restraining Padlock reduces the amount of stress damage that the Abomination causes in the party, as well as to himself, by the way. And the padlock of transference increases his stun and blight skill chance, which are basically the abilities that he has while he is still in human form, mostly. So those abilities should be more effective and more useful. And that also means that uh, we, when a fight appears particularly easy, we don't need to transform into a beast, saving us a bit of stress damage. But anyway gonna bring food and we're gonna bring kind of like the maximum as I always do because I'm stupid that way then we're gonna bring four shovels and anti-venom is not really necessary I think but I'm gonna bring one anyway because I'm once again like I said I'm stupid then the bandage two medicinal herbs two skeleton keys holy water I will bring one because I cannot remember at the moment whether there's a curio that requires a holy water but i'm sure that there's one if i don't bring one so let's bring one it's only 150 gold anyway all right now we don't have a healer in this party obviously because well we could have kind of have brought an occultist and a occultist could probably uh be in the same party as an abomination but we didn't have one, at least not one of the appropriate level, and therefore our current party does not have a healer, which makes might make things a bit tricky for us, but we'll find that out soon enough. Our uh, Plague Doctor can use her battlefield medicine, so there's at least that. Let us embolden him. Do I want to use Beast Spell or Manacles? I think I want to transform here and use a Rake. Ooh, almost two kills. And then we have the Man at Arms who can use his Retribution? Yeah, that should work. Alright, Shocker, why are you ignoring the marked target? Oh well. Anyway, uh, you can simply do another... Well, let's do a Rage. Alright. Nice loot to start the dungeon with. 
We also get a new positive quirk, and I kind of want to try to apply that to our new man-at-arms. See if it is something positive. Indeed it is. Wield Scrounger. That is increased exploration chance, or, or increased scouting chance, I should say. In the wield, obviously. And that's quite decent. Alright. This battle is a bit more problematic. Let's use the battle ballot, because this time we didn't get a surprise. So, it's definitely the best play here. Let's stun the back row. Alright, he may get stunned, but he doesn't get stunned. Very nice, he's going to transform. And then use... Rake. Didn't get the kill, which is kind of unfortunate. And now he gets an attack. Five damage. Alright, uh, Retribution might finish him off. And again, it might not. It doesn't. Ah, well. I took the gamble. Uh, we, we could easily stun these two guys again, and I think I will. Alright, I think another rake is in order. You can use a crush, I guess. Yeah. Only five? Fine. Whatever. And you use your battle ballot again. To make sure that we get the first actions in the next round. Good. Rage. Yeah. Crit it. Very nice. And you... Noxious Blast. I guess. Um, we don't really need to do anything else, so let's remove a bit of stress from the man-at-arms. He is, after all, a level 0 character. Uh, and use the Rampart, is that going to work? I doubt it. Let's use the Crush instead. 9 damage, not gonna get the kill, but with the Blight, it does. Alright. Now this statue in the background... Oh, whoops. That was not entirely what I wanted to do, but anyway. Uh, for Hyperman, a stalwart buckle. Uh, it's not that great. Anyway, um, I believe this reduces stress. I'm gonna test that theory on um, on the abomination. <laughs> oh boy! Oh, that's a debuff. Until camp, reduced damage, reduced accuracy. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. I'm gonna push on a battle, see if I can get rid of it. Do we have any bad quirks? Of course we do. Shocker is not even that bad, honestly. Bad gambler, ruminator... Hmm... Faithless. Faithless is rather bad. Let's do it with the abomination. Remove a bad quirk using medicinal herbs on the whatever it is, the coral reef. Faithless, he no longer is. Excellent. Uh, who has the best disarm chance? That would be the Jester. Another one. Oh, I also would like to get rid of that one in that case. Alright. Good. Very good. <laughs> Alright, the battle. See how that goes with the... Uh, Permanent debuff, or at least a debuff until the next camp. Let us battle belt, of course. Increase our speed, increase our accuracy, increase our crit. Let's buff him up, make him as useful as he typically is. Call of the Deep is going to buff that guy up, so I might want to use a rage against him. Unfortunately, we need we did not get a turn before him. The spear fishing is kind of bad. Let's transform. That's definitely a given. And then we're gonna get try to get rid of this guy, which should be easy. We... We... We had him. Except for one hit point. Ugh. Well, at least we can use a retribution here. Very effectively. Alright, then you... You could, for example, slam this guy. If we stun him... He's no longer protecting this guy. Or uh, if he gets stunned. Oh, that it doesn't have a stun. Right, right, right. Alright. Never mind. 
Um, let's stun the back row, though. That could be good. Alright, now he's no longer guarded. Very nice. You're gonna use your battle ballot. Increase speed and then you use your crush against him. That was abysmal, but anyway. Seaward slash. Eight damage. Ugh. Uh, rage could be good. He has been debuffed, but he also has increased protection, so I don't really see how I can get through that effectively. But a, um, a rage against the grouper should definitely take care of him. And then we can use a blinding gas on the back row. You continue with your battle ballots. And you, what do you do? We can reach that row, so I guess we could do a bit of damage. It's not really worth it. Let's try to get rid of those corpses. One hit point short. Ugh. I want to get rid of those corpses because then... I can reach these two guys with the Noxious Blast, which is, I believe, like the only um, ability. I could also transform back in the meantime, but actually, we could also use the Rage. Yeah, that's... Uh, actually, no, a Rake would be better in this case. Try to get rid of the corpses. Start with the Blight. Yeah. Do that. Then we're gonna do the... The crush against the shaman, I guess. Then in the next round, we can apply the Noxious Blast. And once again, Battle Ballot. I want to keep that speed up. You can use your Rage. Get rid of him. Then you can try to stun him again. I don't think that you'll succeed. No. That was worth a shot. He is going to die on his own now. That causes a bleed. That's fine because I can deal with bleeds. You could can transform back and then use your bile ability. That could be good. What does your bile ability do? Three hit... Nah, that's not going to be enough damage anyway. Alright, so you just use your rage then. Ooh, okay. Never mind, why was I even thinking so hard about that? And uh, we have a full stack of bandages, but I'll dump the anti-venom. Take the gold. Use a bandage. And this was a bad debuff, I believe. Ooh, okay, maybe use unholy water on it. Aura of strength. Uh, plus 18 damage until camp. Okay. Okay. That, uh, doesn't help us with the reduced accuracy, of course. But, nice. I'm gonna push on a little bit further before I camp. We still have a few more inventory slots that we can fill up. Hunger activation is fine. We have the food. In fact, it allows us to heal up a little bit. Okay, another room battle. I guess we want to... Um, yeah, battle about it. I suppose we want to stand the back row. We could also go for an emboldening vapors. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try that instead. And then perhaps if I get the opportunity, yeah. I'm gonna start with a rage against the acolytes. And then you can do a stun against the Pelagic Grouper, because I think that they are more annoying. They, ha they can reach all party members from all positions, if I'm correct. I mean, that spearfishing ability is very, very versatile. Uh, bleed is not that bad, but I'll use a bandage anyway, because I have a lot of them anyway. Uh, then use a rage against him. 
you use a Noxious Blast or maybe a heal. No, no, actually let us... No, let's use the... Um, uh, let's use a stun on the back row. It's gonna take a while before I can deal with that guy, I think. Dodged it, good. Speed. And... Push him back. If you can, stun him. If you can, alright, good. Not that it's going to matter much, because I'm going to kill him anyway. <laughs> uh, well, let's stun this guy again. Nobody has a clear corpses ability, which is kind of annoying. I, I do like having at least one party member who can do that. Uh, but no matter. Let's crush one of these corpses. Only six. One hit point short. Um, can I stun him again? I doubt it. Let's... Let us do a bit of a heal. It's almost worth nothing. But it does obviously increase his damage as well. So at least there's that. Alright. You can do a rake. Only destroyed one corpse. But one corpse is enough. Can you perhaps stun him? No. Well, chances weren't great. But... Ooh, nasty. Nasty. He still has two-thirds of his health, but I don't like that one bit. But anyway, we critted him to death now. Got a little nice amount of loot. And we're gonna use a key on this. Hidden compartment, bunch of stuff, including crests, which I do want, kind of. Yeah. Uh, eat one food with him. It's a bit of a waste of food in my opinion, but I'm gonna do it anyway. And another room battle and another room battle up there. Ugh, this is gonna take a while, isn't it? Let's move on. I may camp after this next fight. I may. I'm not sure. Anyway. No, not, not after this fight, of course. After the next uh, room battle. And transform. To transform or not to transform? Anyway, uh, I think transform. It barely does any stress. I think it might be a bit too overpowered. Um, the, the abomination class in general, even. Uh, let us... Ooh. This is not really going to help us. Maybe I should change the Noxious Blast for something else. Hmm. We'll think about it in a second. What do we want to do now? I think we want to buff him up. Allow him to deal a bit more damage. Uh, Rampart. We did not get the stun, which is surprising. 7 damage for the Jester and the Bleed. Slice and Dice. 7 damage distributed over the man at arms and the abomination. That is fine, let's use a rake. One kill, one down to half of his health. And a crush should get the kill, right? Right, alright. Then we can use... Oh, then we can use the, a bandage on the jester. Once again, waiting for all the animations to finish. Eat a bit of food with him. Because he doesn't have a lot of health to start with. Alright. Not too bad. The drowned, uh, the drowned Thrall I can deal with, definitely. The Abomination is going to take care of him quite easily. Let's stun the back row. Then you can use a Retribution. Yeah. Does he still get the... Yeah, he still gets all of the buffs. Very nice. Then you transform. And you rake. Rake? 
may get the kill on him, but I would rather do this. Alright. Just to ensure that the uh, whatever it was is gone. I don't remember its name already. Um, the Thrall, I think. Yeah, it was a Thrall. Anyway, Noxious Blast could take care of him no problem, right? Five damage over time, yes, okay. Let's do that. Battle Ballot, make sure that we get to go before the Shaman. Very good, use a Rage to take him down. Another crit, excellent. Then try to stun the Plagic Grouper. Resisted it, ah. Eight damage, retaliated though. Killed the Sea Maggot with the poison. Um, Noxious Blast. Three damage and another five when he gets his turn. So let's do a bit of a stress heal. You could try to transform you back. I haven't done that before in combat. Interesting. Not bad. And you do get a turn after that. Okay. Absolution in that case. And you go for a uh, Retribution. This gives me a buff, but only if I use a Holy Water on it. So I guess I'll not use it. Maybe I'll use it on the way back from this room battle. Ooh, a Madman. A Madman! But we do have a Jester with us, so we should be able to deal with stress with relatively few issues. Accusation, he said, famous last words. 51 stress already. Wow. Anyway, transform. I'll try to get rid of the Madman with a Rage, I think. That was not even close to being good enough. Well, actually, two more hit points and we would have gotten him. Let's stun the back row. Obviously, the Pelagic Groupers are actually kind of a bigger threat. Well, I'm not even so sure about that, to be honest. Let's see where Slash 5 damage hits. His protection is helping a lot. Uh, let us use the Retribution against him. And then a Rake. Nice. And you... Yeah, it's not much, but I want to heal him up a little bit. Stun that guy, maybe even kill him. Mm, you didn't, too bad. And... Battle Ballots. Okay. Uh, rage against the Shaman. No, we didn't get the kill there. That annoys me. That annoys me a lot. Let us, in that case, stun him. Reduce stress on the Plague Doctor. Use another Retribution. In the next round, we should be able to do another stress heal. I think... Let's do a heal with you, because you don't have anything better to do. Uh, you were gonna get the kill, hmm. Uh, yeah, I kind of have to do that. Take all of the goodies. We are not poisoned or anything, right? Nope. So, do I want the deeds? Nah. Nah, I'm good. I really need to move a bit faster. We're already almost one half hour underway. And we're only halfway through the dungeon. Okay, we need to finish them in order to complete the quest objective. The dungeon objective, whatever you want to call it. We do get a turn before the Madman. I'm gonna buff up the abomination so that he is hopefully gonna take care of that immediately all right rage 
Kill number one, excellent. Uh, you will be using your def defense ability, I think. Let's defend the Plague Doctor. It doesn't really matter, I just want to buff his, um, his protection. For exactly that reason. Alright, very nice. Spear fishing. Alright, the Jester is now already down to half of his health. Dr. Cestus. No retribution, but the damage has been absorbed quite nicely. Uh, Rake? Yeah, I think so. Ooh, 17 crit against the Guardian. That is a good start. With this 33% protection, that is going to take care of him quite quickly. Let's also poison him. That is unfortunately not going to take him down in the next round. Which is kind of bad. Alright, he definitely needs some attention now. We are going to almost camp, I think. Let us... No, we want. We still need to be faster than they are. I haven't used the um, uh, the solo and Vanelli abilities of the Jester a lot, but I then again haven't really had the need to. All right, a kill that suits me fine. Doctor Sestus, he can withstand a bit of bleed, I think. All right, very good. Oh, I forgot to use a bandage with him. Ah, damn it. He's going to die on his own now. You can kill a corpse. So that next time you can reach the pelagic grouper. Who at the moment we are simply going to stun. No, we're going to use that on the man at arms. Alright. And you reduce a bit of stress from the man at arms. Can you stun him perhaps? Ooh, he dodged. Spear fishing against the Jester for damage. We definitely not need to uh, pay some attention to him when we camp. Alright. Let us do a buff on him. Make sure that he can get the kill. Alright, very good. Rage. There we are. Look at that. All of those goodies and I'm gonna not take those. Okay. Let's move back. I was kind of hoping to get another uh, medicinal herbs. I could take the gamble. I guess. Let, let's take the gamble. Let's see what happens. I have no idea what's gonna happen. Alright, a bit of stress relief. That's not bad. That's not bad. He definitely w uh, could use it. And then we're gonna camp, I think, in this room. Do I want to... Yeah, I need to recover the 25% health anyway, so I might as well feast. And then what abilities do we have? Weapons practice? Don't really want that. He's mostly gonna be defensive anyway. Dodging. Yeah, I like that. I'm probably gonna use that. Increase his speed, that's not really that important. Increase his blight, bleed and disease resistance. I like that one, probably gonna use that. Do, does any of us have a disease? No, no one does, all right. Uh, in that case, he doesn't have a lot to do. He can reduce stress from all of the characters, that's great. And increase accuracy on a character. That may be... Hmm, I'm not really sure on who I want to use, but I'm probably going to use that. Let's use that one, because it removes almost all of the stress that we have. I'm going to use Maintain Equipment, Eldritch Blood. I'm going to use the Wound Care on the Jester. Do we have another Wound Care, perhaps? No. Oh, well. And then we have three points left. Uh, increased accuracy. Do we really need that? We don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need that. Then, I guess... Weapon practice or tiger's eye. Let's do weapon practice. We do attack with him occasionally. So, I think that's the best play. Oh boy. Okay fine 
Hopefully it's not too bad. Ah, oh, this is fine. This is fine. And he can easily use his Venali to uh, retreat to the back. So that is a-okay. Oh, right. I, will <laughs> I, I thought it would do something else. But anyway. That's fine. That's fine. You are going to transform, my friend. And then use your... Hmm. If I use Rake... A good chance of killing both of them. Or I could use the Rage to get rid of the Acolytes. I think I'm going to use the Rake. And then I'm going to stun her. Okay, uh, Crush, Retribution, hmm, let's use a Crush. Alright, stun her again. Resisted it, alright. Okay, very nice. I'm not still not going to interact with the statue because I don't think that it is going to result in anything good. Use a shovel. Take the goodies, heirlooms, more crests, only four though. I, th I think I can live without them. I'm gonna take the gamble on that. Alright, a fight. The, the Radiant Light is still above 75, which is good, although it doesn't really matter in this case. Battle Ballot. You. Beast Spell. Do I want to use Beast Spell? Let's, let's for a change use the Beast Spell. They both got affected, very good. Only one of them got debuffed though. And our Jester is now stunned. And he is not stunned twice, okay. Uh, let us... Let us stun the back row, prevent his action. And then the man at arms can use crush perhaps. May get the kill. Let's use the crush on him. Seven damage. That is not gonna cause him to die, unfortunately. Uh, let's increase the blight on this guy. He should now definitely be dead, right? Yep. Okay, then the manacles. Gonna take him down. We only need to worry about the stinger in the front. Alright, we dodged it. Can we stun it for the next round? Maybe we can, maybe we cannot. Um, now Nuxious Blast will do the trick. You... Oh, you're not transformed. <laughs> I wanted him to transform back, but okay. Let's remove a bit of stress from him as well as heal up a little bit. Oh, he was already at maximum health. That is fine then. Uh, remove a bit of stress from the man at arms. He's now back to zero stress. Excellent. Oh, I, cool. Interesting. I could take this, go back to the last room and interact with the statue. I'm gonna dump that though. At the very least. Uh, tough choices, tough choices. No. No. I'm gonna move on. More loot. Perhaps I should camp again simply to uh, create some more inventory space for us. Alright. A bunch of empty, empty rooms here. Let's... Let's allow the torchlight to die in this interval. And then we may camp in the next room. Who was the best at disarming traps again? The Jester, probably. Another coral reef. That's gonna reduce stress, right? Yeah, okay. There's a pack of loot. Take the stuff. I do want this trinket. I do want it, and I'm gonna dump, uh, take it in favor of 
four torches. Alright, and we're gonna camp again, I think. We don't really need to feast, though. Um, so let's simply do this. Alright, and... Uh, same abilities, basically. So, Eldritch Blood. Maintain equipment. Uh, oh, we do, don't need to do, use that one, so that's great. Yeah, let's use the Eye of the Tiger in that case on the uh, Abomination. Then we have Weapons Practice. And we have a Wound Care for our Men at Arms. Alright, that seems very effective to me. Another ambush. Uh, this one is a lot worse, and we do get a very bad party shovel. I don't know how fast... Uh, how fast... How fast? Hmm. Apparently I've lost the ability to say the word fast properly. Anyway. Stress wave, that is a bit unfortunate because of reasons. Anyway, let's move him back. Her back, sorry. Uh, transform, uh, definitely. Then you can use your rage against him. Shucker. Stunt. Now there's a shucker. Uh, use your rampart. Resist it and resist it. Well, whatever. I'm glad that I was able to do some damage. A debuff and a bunch of stress. Uh, I want to go faster. Yeah, I want to go faster. Let's stun the back row. Because I don't want any more stress attacks from the shaman. Alright, it was a good play because he would have gotten the next turn. In fact, he did, but he wasn't able to do anything because of the stun. Let us use the crush to get rid of him. Another brine against the same target. How bad could it be? Alright. Rake, perhaps. Alright, we did get rid of the corpse. And that also allows us to use the rage against that target in the next round. Reduce the stress a little bit on the Plague Doctor. Then we are going to apply that blight on the maggots. Don't be too bad. 24 is kind of bad. 11. He's not going to die on his own, obviously. But now he is. Well, not on his own, but he is going to die. What is that? Bloodied, bloodied fetish. Increased resistances, uh, except against disease. It's not a very good trinket, is it? We did get another medicinal herbs, which is interesting. Uh, we're gonna keep... Uh, we're gonna hang on to it. Yes. Yes, indeed. Alright, let's move everybody back to uh, their correct positions, which is this. Damn it! I walked a bit too far to the right. That is really annoying. Oh well. We got a surprise, so we should be fine here, right? I think so. Uh, buff up this guy. Remove a bit of stress from the Plague Doctor. I think that's more important right now than speed, especially since we got the surprise. Let us use the beast's bow. Manacles. Manacles. Should get the stun, right? Yeah, okay. And then you can use the rampart against the thrall. All right, so we only need to deal with the stinger. Who can stun us in return? Yes, he's going, gonna try that. Alright, we dodged it. Alright, so the next round we can do a noxious blast here. Uh, ma another manacles here. Alright, very good. And then try to stun or kill that guy. He's probably gonna resist the stun. Yes, he did. And finally, a salty gorge may cause a bleed if I am not very much mistaken. 
Alright, a bit of a dodge debuff instead, that's fine. Stress relief. And kill, please. Take the gold, leave the busts. Interact with this by using a shovel. Ooh, that is very nice. That is very nice indeed. Okay, I think the time has come for me to dump the bandages. Bleeds aren't really that bad on this difficulty level, so... And I'm going to dump this item as well. Alright. Got another surprise, very fortunate. Speed, please. Even though we don't really need it in, the, in this round, we still are going to need it in the next round. So, let us also buff... No, we're going to stun these two guys. I don't want them to be able to affect the Plague Doctor too much. Let's transform. And then you may as well focus on the Brawler to start with. Very nice. And Rampart on the Plagic Guardian. If that lands... Alright, very nice. We have a lot of stun abilities in this party, which is quite good. Um, uh, no, actually, Rake could be good. Uh, what would be the best way to get rid of this guy then? I am not sure. I think I'll, I might stun him again if I get the opportunity. Ooh, we didn't get a kill there. Hmm. Two hit points short. Alright, I'm gonna stun him again. She's probably gonna be able to use her stress attack. In that case. Although, I could perhaps use a retribution to prevent that. Alright, good. Good, 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 good. Then... You speed. Particle barrier, that's fine. It's kind of fine, at least. If I do a stun, he's gonna get stunned. Interesting. Let's do that. Alright, then I can... Then, he's no, then this guy is no longer guarded, so that's a very interesting mechanic there. We did not get the kill there. Wow, okay. Not retribution in that case. It is nice to have the retribution available simply to finish off enemies and at the same time do something else which is useful. Like uh, two, basically two actions for the price of one. Uh, rage. Five. He still has his buff from the ability that he used. Uh, let's... Guards the Jester, even though he's probably out of reach for the Plagic Guardian anyway. Alright, he's gonna go down on his next turn. So, in that case, we're gonna do a bit of healing, as much as we can anyway. You may as well transform back, which heals you up. And reduces stress on everybody. And then you can use an absolution. Or what is it called? Yeah, absolution. Alright. And you use defender on... Oh, right. Well, whatever. Uh, more stress heal. Why the hell not? And done. Take as much as we can. What did we take anyway? Yeah, I don't really want the deeds or the intervention or the crests. I hope we still get another coral. That would be amazing. I think that is... No, that's a barnacle chest. That's fine too. I think I'll risk it. We're almost done with this dungeon. <sighs> Do I still want to risk it? Yeah, why not? Why not? Oh, I forgot to use a torch, or I was unable to use a torch just in time for this battle, so that might have affected uh, our ability to surprise them. And 
and then we're gonna use the rage against the stingers, I think, because the sea maggots are quite resilient. Let's take them out one by one with noxious blasts. And you use the... no, not the rampart. May as well use the red... no, let's see if we can stun him. No. Oh well. It was worth a try. Alright, dodged the brine. He's dead. Okay. Then another noxious... Uh, yeah, another noxious blast. Right. He is dead. Now we only need to get a turn before the stinger with the abomination so that we can get the kill. And then we can do a bit of stress relief because we are basically done with this uh, battle. Good. Any goodies that I want to take? I am gonna eat a bit of food here. But what else? Do I have quirks that I that I really want to remove? No, not really. Okay. Okay. In that case, let's take the gold. We still have at least one more room battle. We know that much. That may be the one. Alright, a few bandits. Uh, speed. Stun the back bro, yeah. If we would have surprised them, I wouldn't have done that, but in this particular case, definitely do this. Let's also use a stun on this guy. Ooh, or a kill. That works too. Then if we're very, very lucky, we also get the turn. No, we don't. All right, fair enough. You can use the Rampart, stun him for the next round. And now he's in the front, so he's going to be useless in his next round as well. Right, then we're gonna blight... No, actually... Yeah, we're gonna blight. I'm not gonna transform this time with the Abomination. Uh, beast Spile? No, Medicals is better. Uh, battle Ballot, I guess. Stress isn't an issue at all at the moment, so... Uh, let's crush this guy, alright. And let's poison him as well. He should die from that. So let's use an absolution, even though it doesn't really do anything at all. Nope, didn't do anything. All right. Ah, fine. I'll kill you. Oh, I clicked on the corpse by accident. By accident. Uh. But we did get a nice amount of gold from that. That is very good. I am gonna take the gamble that we don't have to go to this room. And even if we do, that there's not gonna be an obstacle here. So I'm gonna use the shovel. All right. That wasn't really that great. Oh, another one. Well, who has very nice bleed resistance? Uh, uh, where's the bleed? Right. 90, 40... 50, 40. Alright, definitely the Abomination. Probably because of his camping buff. Uh, yeah, nothing inside. Hmm. Okay. And we get a battle in here. Probably the last battle. But maybe not. Alright, a Thrall in the third position. That's interesting. Let's increase our speed. Stun the back row. Uh, transform. And I guess you use your rage against the grouper. And you defend the jester. Alright, that's irritating. It's irritating. But we can break through that 
it doesn't really matter. We cannot reach him anyway with, with any offensive capabilities. So for this round, we may have to allow him to deal uh, to do an attack. But anyway, in the meantime, let us buff up the beast. I think. Then we are going to use a rage against the thrall. Increase speed even further. I could also have done a solo, I guess. Call of the Deep to buff him up. Ah, oh, that's not good. Oh well. Um, let's start to stun him. If we can, then next time we'll be able to reach the shaman without any difficulties. Alright, very good. Very good indeed. Let's use the rage again. Bye bye. And then only the guardian remains. A guardian who is sensitive at least to poison. Solo is no longer worth it. Let's. Uh, oh, let's actually do a bit of stress relief then. You do another stun. You still have your protection buff. Yeah, for one more round though. So let's simply protect the Jester, because that's quite a vulnerable character. Arctocestus, seven damage, hmm. no bleed, fortunately. Um, rage, damage, okay, almost there. He is not going to die on his own quite yet. Um, yeah, let's kill him. And that ought to do the trick. Maybe we even get... Yes, okay, we do, but that doesn't really matter. So let's guard... Oh, right. <laughs> I failed to notice that the Jester was already guarded. But anyway. No matter. Let's dump the bus. We don't really want them. Take the gold. See what's in here. A trap is in here. With blight. And we still have to do one more room battle, which is going to be in the last room. That's just my luck, isn't it? Oh well. Uh, take it. Thank you. A trap, which is going to be disarmed by the Jester. And a bit of food, perchance, who has the best disease resistance. Undoubtedly, that is the abomination. Well, okay. <clears throat> Whoops. Anyway, uh, we don't need to eat the food quite yet, so I will not do that. Mm, a scout, okay. Ah! We do have to deal with one more hallway uh, obstacle. Ah, uh, that is just my luck. That is just my luck. Take all of that. Another medicinal herb swell. If I could be certain that that one item, that one curio that we're going to encounter in this hallway... No, I don't... Actually, that's probably the back backpack. I think there was only one. Yeah, so never mind. Never mind. Okay, three groupers. We should be able to deal with them quite easily. Let's increase our speed. And then buff up our abomination. Then he can uh, transform. And use his rake ability to hopefully get rid of two groupers. Only one. Only one. Okay. Alas. Spear fishing against our plague doctor is fine. It's fine. Let's use the rampart. May get the kill. Okay. And then we will use the rage with the abomination to kill the last one. Right. Very good. We got another ruby. Ah. <sighs> Really? Re oh, uh, we might have gotten another food event, but we didn't. Okay, good. Finish all of the food then. You eat one, alright. Alright, not too bad as far as battles go. 
increase our speed once again. Just down the back row. Transform. Use your rage against that guy. He is now gone. You tried to stun him. We crit it. And we got the stun. Very nice. Alright. Next round. What's gonna happen? I think... I think I'm gonna buff the beast this time. He is gonna use a rage against the acolyte. Make sure that she dies. Then more speed is required for the remainder of our party. Spear fishing against our plague doctor. We dodged it. Otherwise, it couldn't possibly have been that bad, right? Let's defend her. For no, actually, yeah, let's defend her. Why not? Increase his protection at the same time. Alright, Accessus against the abomination. Unfortunately, this is really... Well, we could use a battlefield medicine, but there's really no need. Uh, Noxious Blast, I think, against the Guardian. Then he can use his... Yeah, he should probably use his... Let's, let's use his Slam. I like that. And then... Um, our speed is already quite high. Let's actually start reducing stress on the Men at Arms. And you can use your Rampart. He's going to die? Oh, he's going to die. Okay, then let's stun him. Oh, actually, he is going to move forward again, but that doesn't really matter. He, he can use all of his attacks from every position anyway. And now we can use the Rage to finish this dungeon, finally. Alright, well... Too bad that we did not manage to optimally fill our inventory with loot, but we still got a lot of it. How much gold did we get in the end? Let's see the end tally. Alright, 13,000. Not bad at all, not bad at all. And what quirks did we get in return? One bad one, one good one. A tapeworm. Because why not? And demonomania. Oh, he has a disease. I forgot about that. M that might have happened after our last campfire. But anyway. Tapeworm, eagle eye. Uh, yeah, demonomania is not good. Eagle eye instead of quick draw. I don't know which one I would have preferred. I like both. Okay, so we don't even have enough crests, I believe, to upgrade the blacksmith, right? No, oh no, actually we need more deeds, ah, okay, more deeds, well, are there anything interesting quests in the wield? We do have the brigand 16 pounder, <laughs> but no, that one's gonna have to wait a little bit. We have the Rampart Shield, which is actually not that bad. Not that bad. A Swift Cloak. Also not bad. I kind of like it even. Hmm. And my last two episodes have been, I mean this one and the previous one, have been quite long. So it would be a good idea, perhaps... To do a one that is a bit shorter. Or perhaps go for a protective padlock for the Abomination. The Abomination is level 3 now. Or at least he should be. Oh, he's all the way at the top, of course. Yes, he is. Okay. Tempting, tempting. The Sun Ring. And the rest is all champion level. I'm not going to touch those anytime soon. Unless I really see something that's really... Really is something that I want. Um, I think another apprentice level mission might be in order. But I think... I don't have the characters for that though. Unless I manage to hire one. I do have three who can do that. And three characters who are reasonably 
well suited for that. I would like to get a new Hellion. We still have a level 5 one. Oh, we still have a level 5 one. Okay, well that's good at least. But just in case, I kind of want a backup. I also like the Abomination class, but the problem with that class is that I cannot combine him with all the other classes. So he's a, bit, a little bit too... Um, Oh, wow, this is a great, great uh, Hellion as well. I'm gonna th gonna take her. Alright, then I think I'll take uh, these four guys into... Uh, yeah, where, where I'm gonna bring them? I'm gonna take them into the Warrens, yes. And furthermore, I'm probably gonna do that without any torches. So, that's for next time. I hope you will join me then. In the meantime, have a good day. Or night, whatever.